The work as a biosafety coordinator involves many aspects of safety. It really hones in on the laboratories, what's taking place in the laboratories, as far as reagents, agents, bacteria, viruses, cells. The idea is to keep the people safe from what they're working on, as well as keep the agents and the cells and the bacteria safe from the people. With that said, another vital key would be to keep everything contained within that laboratory. You don't want the bacteria or the viruses getting outside. You don't want to take it home to your friends and family. You don't want to take it home to your animals. Once it's out the door, whether, you know, what they call BL2 substance or BL3 substance, it could be highly contagious through aerosol or it could be highly just cross-contamination with the doorknobs, taking it to your clothes, petting your pet, ingesting it with food. That's a big aspect of the safety issue. The BL1, the BL2, and the BL3, and the BL4 are the different varieties of the pathogens that you could work with. And if they are pathogenic, like your BL1 is more like your chemistry laboratory that you do in high school. BL2, you see where you might be working with some salmonella, E. coli. There's potential for that pathogen to cause harm. But with the safety precautions, it's highly unlikely. The BL3 comes, you know, it's more advanced. You have to keep it more contained common would be like your anthrax that you've seen. There's been some scares there. It's easily spreadable. It's easily, you can inhale it and you can carry it and spread it and you don't even know it. So it's really highly pathogenic. Your BL4 comes into play where, you know, you really need high containment. The BL4 can consist of Marburg virus. Um, it's things that you work with that there's not a vaccine in place. There's no treatment in place, like for antibiotics. If you have an exposure, you know, immediate medical attention definitely falls. Um, that's pretty much your most severe pathogens and viruses that you're working with. Updating credentials when you're working in laboratories and doing safety with public health in any aspect is really important. Um, there's many continuing education courses out there. There's just regular online courses that you would just brush up on your own. There's seminars, conferences you could go to. Laboratories have to fall in compliance with what you're doing as far as safety and decontamination measures. Decon is really front and center along with your clothing that you wear. They call it PPE, your protective equipment. Anytime you use a biological safety cabinet, you perform your work, you go through and you have to decontaminate it, you have to clean it. You know, that way you know it's decon 100%. Everything's killed, everything's put away. So the next worker that comes along, or even just the passerby, or can't pick something up with cross-contamination. Everyday work in safety and then the public health measure, it is changing, it is an evolving world. With what you're doing and your setting, regardless of where it's at, risk assessments are key. You want to go in and say, okay, this is what I, th the knowns come to the table. This is what I know I'm working on. These are things I know that have potential of changing. Um, you do that risk assessment and it identifies, again, how to keep you safe, how to keep that agent, virus, bacteria safe, how do you keep it contained. 